Welcome to the stream. We are live in Germany, Germany. in Cologne, Cologne, if you will. Cologne. Uh, two Americans just lost in Europe, and doing English commentary. English for a, commentary. A German qualifier. We'll do our best to mix in a little German in there, and, actually, and then you'll I don't wish know. that we hadn't. Exactly. Please. Level 15 is going to lower oh. the scoring a little bit. Let's see if that. Obviously, they're going to score at the same pace. So this is your, you, maybe you could tell by his fingers, this is our hyper tapper. <laughs> yeah. And then this is Mau Mau pulling up the stream. <laughs> Mau Mau handling business, multitasking <laughs> like a boss, that winning smile. All right, if both players are ready, let's count them down with a three, three two, two, one, Tetris. Tetris. As you can tell, Immediately, these are not the same piece sets. Those are only used for the World Championship, which is in October in Portland. Yeah, so that these is a players are getting different pieces. Custom cart, and you can see the the, the complexion is already taking shape here. Uh, Mau Mau had to do some creative building, getting uh, kind of some suboptimal RNG. But Mark slams down a Tetris, draws first blood, and is still off to the races with a very clean board here. Uh, like I said, 15 is an interesting start because it caps your scoring potential just a little bit with the way that the levels progress. At the so, same time, though, they're both playing on 15, so it, the if scoring you're used, makes sense. If you're used to a certain pace, it can frustrate you a little bit as a player uh, to see your score so low at transition, or lower than you would expect, if that makes sense. But Mau Mau clean now, Mark slams with a Tetris. A, a Tetris just off the wall. Yep. Mau Mau down about two Tetrises. Uh, Mark playing a little bit faster, but both players are pressing down, getting those extra press down points. Mau Mau's board looking so nice, knocks down a Tetris, and Ooh. closes that gap a little bit. And stays aggressive, so he was about to burn a line or two to get down. Uh, offs not to. I think he knows that he's going to have to uh, push the pedal to the metal a little bit to keep up with, uh, with the top seed here. Both of them just really nice play fields. Mark's got a tuck set up. He finally Mark's playing incredibly in clean, there. has the tuck set up. Even though he's pressing down, you can see that he's using level 15 speed to make excellent Ooh. excellent building decisions. Oh, a slight miss drop with that Z, and then it just cascaded a little bit. Well, yeah. ascended a little bit. He's, he's tucking result. quite well, but this is, this is going to be a tough one to dig out. There's a lot of different elements to dig out. This is not a simple one. Mark with a few kind of delayed burns, waiting for the right pieces to clear out his well. First yeah. he has to attack the center and then get back to the He's going to want to clear this out because if he gets it cleared out, he can really and open up a, a nice lead here. Kind of capitalize on this time when Mau Mau is kind of burning at the top of the screen. Yeah, it's getting a little bit high. Mau Mau choosing not to take that double, and it's going to it's gonna come back to bite oh, him just a little no. bit. And, and we have our first game. top out, Mau Mau with 95,000 points. Mark is ahead, so that's, it's game one. that's a heart for Mark. Mark Hart on the board. Oh, he's, he's popped off the hood. He looks like he's ready. Yeah. And looks like both players are ready. If, we, uh, if you're ready to go, three, two, one, Tetris. Sorry, working on the graphics. Slight malfunction with the graphics. And we present to you a game in <laughs> progress. <laughs> I mean, it looked fancy, though, which is what counts. Uh, both players, uh, a Tetris in, but uh, to get his Tetris, Mamal had to kind of compromise his board security. And so now he's got to burn down a little bit. Mark doing some burning of his own. Uh, he has that one game lead. Let's see if he plays a little more conservatively or is looking to just close it out as soon as possible. He's got a really good looking board. He slams down a Tetris. Mark, or Mau Mau with a, with a tough uh, middle well Tetris, kind of. Mark doing an over the shoulder greeting to someone. <laughs> yeah. My man's a multitasker. On level 15 affords him a little more brain power for other tasks, such as uh, hearty greetings. <laughs> 
Level 15 can be a, a deceptive one, though. It's very slow, but if you if you get the wrong pieces at the wrong moments, and you're just a little too high. Yes, it, it can, can it can knock it you It can out punish. So Mark has a sizable lead. He's up about 60,000 points. Mama getting a little frustrated. Had a couple uh, line dependencies there. Anytime you need a couple lines, it's never never any good. And now we're getting some mist drops coming in. Looks like he's tapping on level 15 and might just be making some some miscues here. Yeah, that's gonna do it. And that is game and match for Mark. Mark the top seed moves forward. Well played. We Let's see who we got next. Looks like Maurice is coming up. Maurice and Marius. Maurice and Marius. That's not going to be confusing for me at all. <laughs> trying to say that. Uh, big shout out to Maurice for getting Heather and myself into this ex exhibition as uh, not Tetris 2 professional players. Yes. So. We dabble in other games, but we're professional not Tetris yeah. 2 players. So uh, if you have. 13 nanoseconds, you can download his uh, his wonderful games. They're quick, They're easy, so fun, fun, and addictive. They're so fun. They're at stabyourself.net, which every time someone asks us where to get his games and we tell them, I always have to preface it by saying, I swear it's a real site. It's a real site. <laughs> it's it will very, not put it, malware as much as, as, as it's a very far as I know, name, no malware. But it's real. Looks like level 15. Okay. If the players are ready, we'll count them down. Three. Three. Two, two, one, Tetris. Tetris. And oh, where they go. It's such a with, nice color palette, 15. It's, it's such a gentle it's color palette. Pleasing. It's easy on the eyes. Uh, Maurice, first blood with the first Tetris. Absolutely. Marius with a very aggressive lean in. That was a nice adjustment. He's getting close. He on the left there. Oh, yeah. And boom, Tetris no, you can from Marius. See Evens the gap. They they both have a Tetris under their belt, and they're looking for more. Ooh, didn't want that scene. Maurice uh, has added a lot of fun um, adjustments to his game, so you'll see him second guess or triple guess his placements. Oh, he's getting a little high though. He's gonna take some skims. That double was good. Meanwhile, Marius playing very safe. A line piece could have solved things, but. Maurice having to block his, his well over and over. Takes the pressure off with the Tetris. Uh, takes the slight lead, but Marius has a slight edge in board state. But deal, dealing with some... Uh, spirey. Yeah, some spires of his own. You're going to want to get it flat. You're going to want to get it stable, field. It's always a struggle in classic Tetris. Great little adjustment by, by Maurice there. Maurice has and almost he's, burned it down. He's almost out. Meanwhile, Marius still trying to kind of... Oh, some wonderful burning go. by Marius here. Unlock that little section in there. Ooh. He's not He's not putting that Z down on that well. But he eventually gets the L to help out. Uh, absolutely. Yes. And then another Z right when he didn't want I know, the wrong Z. Oh, he set up a oh, tuck, but he went too, too high. high. This is this is not a game over. This is this is a, a diggable situation, especially with these pieces. Yeah, you can even tuck that. That's a, a celebrated line tuck. Oh, and a triple is going to take a ton of pressure off. And now he can breathe a little easier. Uh, Maurice but has been using this dig time to kind of increase his lead. He's up about 40,000 points right about now. About two and a half Tetrises at this scoring, mm -hmm. I want to say. Uh, but he's also playing quite fast. So he's about uh, 12 lines ahead. Right, 12 burn lines ahead. You can see the uh, the burn line counter up, up top. Yeah. Uh, Marius building a little higher than his. Yeah, he's gonna start taking some doubles here. Open up that well. Funny open up the Tetris factory. Timely long bar. Both players are Tetris ready. Who's gonna get the line? Looks like they both will. Back to back Tetrises. So Marius has closed the gap a little. It's about 35,000 point difference now. Yep. Of course. But uh, Maurice, not one to. Uh, ooh, last second adjustment by Maurice. That's very nice. Looking frantic. But he 
He's got a great stable well to the right. And he can just use that area just to skim when he needs to. Very nice to see. Uh, Marius dealing with some difficulty up top. He's kind of working, working above the rim here. Oh, that Z is going to cause a little bit of problems. Throws it to the right. Uh, a square would solve some of his problems. Oh, no, he's going to get that L over. Oh, we want to get that. He was just a little hesitation with that blue. With the blue Z. And that oh, is and the line's not going to go over. And with a 76,000 lead, Maurice takes game Maurice one. Maurice will take game one. Playing some solid, no-nonsense Tetris. Maurice was a little high there in the beginning, but he got it under control, was able to dig it, and uh, convert the win. And just like that, we're going to get on to our second game if both players are ready. They look ready. It's going to be three, two, one, Tetris. Tetris. All right. The, uh, the first round... Uh, was a lot of digging, um, a lot of danger. Let's see what complexion kind of takes place in this round. Uh, both players are ready for Tetrises, but their boards are a little compromised. Marius gets some good pieces to fill out his little center. Absolutely. Case. But while this is happening, Marius was first to strike. Uh, a great rebound by him after dropping the first game, dictating the pace straight, straight away. Always great to see. Tetris ready with that, and he's set up. Yeah, he's looking really good here. He's got his left built out. It's like a nice, gentle slope into his Tetris factory. And he's going to slam another one home. Just such clean setups. Yep. Both players super clean. Maurice with another Tetris. He got one, one straight behind it. And Marius fires back with one of his own. Aggressive pace by both players. Let's see here, some tricky kind of L's and Z's firing at Marius. Yeah, you see his board just got real yeah. jagged. It's tough to deflect um, repeating pieces like that. They're the least friendly pieces. Ooh, a game. nice little spin on that T by Maurice is going to accommodate that uh, that green S quite, quite well. Taking triples. This is tournament Maurice right here. Taking triples when he needs to. Keeping it manageable. Yeah, just stay in the game. Yep. But still with a 60% uh, a Tetris rate, I mean, this is this is a, a nice pace. Marius Mar has been dealing with this dig for a little yeah, there's while. Yeah, there's been digging. It's been kind of spiraling out of control, but he's got... The same L oh, but he, but he gets, gets two up. Ls. Oh, but Maurice out of nowhere. Tops out, so gives a top out. So Marius is chasing down. He needs another 32,000 32, points. 32,000 points, which is about maybe two Tetrises, but he can definitely do it with some doubles and singles. He just needs to get this thing down. He takes a takes a nice deep breath. Still kind of uncomfortably high. Yeah, on but the that board. that line is going to solve a ton of problems to but the right. Yeah, every single that he can kind of take it down a level yep. is a little easier. He's already narrowed it down to 25,000. Um, if he can get this clean, this is going to be looking really nice. What's that to say? Is he building a Tetris? It's there? always a nerves <laughs> check when you don't when you don't burn a line for for that many pieces. Sometimes it's nice to take a skim and take that fraction of a second that uh oh, oh my that's a. That's an aggressive build. But that double, now 17,000 points are needed. Uh, it's going it, to gonna take a little bit. Of, it, it's going to be tough to just dig and, uh, and get the points he needs. Oh, he gets it over. If he gets this, oh, the left side got shut down. That's all she wrote. Marius and for Maurice. Marius takes the match. Almost out of that dig. Had the game in his hands and it slipped away just a little bit there, but great, great games by both players. Uh, oh, be looking forward to Maurice in the next round. On the edge of my seat, I was leaning in. My gosh, it's I was right living here. and dying with every placement. <laughs> All right, we're calling up two more players. Jeffrey. So we have the four and five seed. And sine wave. 
casually strolling up to the uh, to the TVs here. Both competitors are ready. We're going to count them down with three, two, two one, Tetris. Tetris. Best of luck to our competitors. Uh, they both start out with an S and a Z, so <laughs> luck is out the door. It's already a weird start. Absolutely Tetris. But uh, Sine Wave uh, really dealt with some nice little tucks and some, some creative solves there to, uh, to make it a manageable situation. He is, he is building a very aggressive well, uh, but if he gets a couple lines here, it's going to pay off nicely. Uh, both players experiencing a drought right away, so just tough RNG right out the gate. Jeffrey taking time to scratch a scratch an itch, and that uh, that Tetris definitely scratches a, uh, a points itch. Oh, back and forth back Tetrises. And forth. Those high stacks got knocked down instantly, yes. and now we are looking really good on both sides. Very satisfying to see all those solutions come together. Yes. Result in some very nice Tetrises. The, uh, the mind has a hunger for a stable board state, and when you can finally have it, it's a very satisfying experience. It's a Tetris for Jeff, free, but he's, uh, he's looking a little dirty. So Sine Wave, yeah, he has such a hole in the center, yep. he needs to either burn it down but as he's doing now. Some or... skims here and there. That The T is kind of a, a clumsy solve uh, for for that burn, just because it puts a little garbage on top of a the hole. A little extra, but... Uh, but sometimes you got to take what you get. It's hard to criticize a man when he's playing classic Tetris. It's just, you got to do what you got to do. It's a very challenging game. So we have Jeffrey in, in the lead by about 40,000 points. So so that the drop on uh, sine wave side, that could be a nerves check. Anytime you have a weird pattern like that, your brain starts going into overdrive trying to figure out how to solve it. Uh, it looks like he solved it just fine and needs a couple of, uh, couple of key pieces here to get out of this. Oh, he could actually set oh, up a nice. dirty Tetris. Gets away with one there, nice and opportunistic. Uh, and he's only about a Tetris behind, maybe a little bit extra. Uh, the the line pace is even, and he can take this opportunity with Jeffrey doing some digging. Uh, Sine Wave can close the gap and make a gap of his own uh, with a couple of lines here. That's, that's the first one. So we are dead even now. And just like and that, he, he has taken the lead. the lead at the 50 line mark. This is the first checkpoint. But Jeffrey we takes definitely it right have back. ourselves a game here. You could say it's neck and neck. As predicted, this is this is a, a close match. And uh, even if Jeffrey has to do a little bit of digging, he's looking really good. Just really evenly matched players oh, going that, back and forth. That triple will clean up nicely, but now a little bit of a, an eye dependency in the middle. She's able to fill. No problem. A couple burns for Jeffrey, and he is only set up for a Tetris, so he builds it out, yep. knocks down the Tetris. Both players keeping their boards below that two-thirds mark, uh, using doubles and singles to trim and prune and make their stack very pretty. Also, you know, keeps them in the game because you can in survive. It's not just pretty. It's also functional. Tetris for Jeffrey. The the score is flinging back and forth. Uh, kind of had to settle with a, uh, a not so great placement. Let's see how that plays out. Because you got sine wave getting really clean here. If he just gets the right, yep, the right S is gonna do wonders for that stack health. What's he gonna do with this L? He's gonna stand it up. If he can just get a line. Takes the triple and the Tetris all the way to the bottom. <sighs> Meanwhile, Jeffrey about a half a Tetris behind, but he's clean. So we might see another lead change here if he can get the right pieces. Really love what I'm seeing from both players here. This is just classic tournament Tetris. Uh, Jeffrey now playing quite quickly, so he is at 100 lines. Oh, the lens just updated for sine waves. Okay, so they're they're pretty even. Unfortunate uh, red uh, red S for Jeffrey right there. 
Yeah, it seems like it kind of keeps happening where he gets them and he just doesn't have a spot in his stack for them. Yeah, he doesn't have the spot or it just compromises the stack just a little bit and then that leads to more burning. Uh, case in point, that right one right there. there. <gasps> oh no, no, oh. the L doesn't get over. So I, I think really high. I think the uh, the transition to 16 took him by surprise a little bit, and he was not able to get that piece over when the speed kind of increased. And Sinewave has a 30,000 point lead, and he takes game Sinewave one. Sinewave takes that lead to the bank. That is game one for Sinewave. Well yeah. played by both. When you're in the middle of a dig, it's kind of hard to keep track of your line count because you're so focused on your board. And yeah, the level transition can take The you level by transition takes you by surprise on 15 because you're not expecting it. When those 18 starts, they come at 130 lines. Uh, those transitions come a little bit earlier, and it just caught him a little off guard with that left placement. But I think they're ready for game two. Ready, ready and willing. Okay. Three, two, two one, one, Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> Both players. Tucks and Z's and yeah, S's. Having to tuck just to start. Jeffrey with a slight board. head shake, knowing that uh, he, he just took some body blows with those uh, S's and Z's. Meanwhile, sine waves stack looking very healthy, if not a bit squarish. <laughs> a bit of a pit. Pulled it out well. Oh, he's got a tuck set up. Is he going to? Yep. He's just going to tuck the Z in there. He could have waited for the square, but a square still hasn't presented itself, so it's hard to, it's hard to judge the man. And, and boom. Is. The first boom. Tetris comes a few lines in, and Jeffrey has taken a two Tetris lead straight away. He's playing very confident Tetris. Uh, again, a bounce back game from that uh, from that early top out. Uh, he's he's ready to get back off the mat and start swinging. Uh, sine wave with his first Tetris. Both players, you can tell, just really like having a flat board. When they start getting pushed into kind of unfamiliar builds, high builds, spires, pits, that's when you can kind of see the nerves come into play. Yeah, and sine wave doing some doing some pretty tough digging right now, and that yeah that that blue blue Z didn't really do him any favors. He if he can get the bottom of that, that'll clean. There we go. That'll clean. So this is, okay, he's he's willing to burn and then just kind of make a nice, consistent factory on the right. Um, speaking of that, Jeffrey is ready for a Tetris. He's experiencing a bit of a drought. Yeah, is he going to get, we're starting to get into the 20s here, and that can just, that can just pose problems. It's uh, nice and clean, he's skimming really well. He is. He takes, he takes, takes that double, <laughs> takes a deep breath. Water. If you get a little frustrated, you can feel very uh, attacked by RNG, especially if your opponent did not get that 26-piece drought uh, next to you. That being said, Jeffrey does have a 30,000-point lead right now. Yep. So when he does get the long bars, he's, he's converting he Tetris. He knows what to do with them, yeah. Uh, sine wave looking real clean here, though. This is still so early in the game. Uh, it's anybody's, anybody's match. That square, just nowhere to put it. When you have your board split up like that with the well in the center, yes. it's hard to have a flat place. It really square. is. It's, it's, it's tough to keep it clean. Uh, with that being said, oh, a nice skim across the well. Party down the middle. And that is a party down the middle, center Tetris. Well, Tetris. Uh, he's maintaining the lead, even though he's kind of been in the middle of a dig. Uh, because he's been getting Tetrises in the middle of it, he's been able to maintain his lead. Some sine wave with some some, some totem pole stacking yes. of those pieces he just didn't really have a place for. So he's he's content to kind of uh, I like what he did with that garbage. He isolated it with the with the teeth piece, and so it's a little bit easier to dig out now that he's got it on the same level there. Uh, with that being said, he's still not clean. <laughs> Jeffrey has some alternating burn shells of his own that he's trying to work down to. This, yeah, both of these digs are kind of overstained, kind of sticking around. And actually with the more aggressive pressing down, you can see that Jeffrey is about, oh, I can't do math. About 16. 16. <laughs> with just four whole Tetrises. Not that these, not that they're in the, uh, 
you know, in any sh way, shape, or form, able to do a Tetris right now, unless it gets really dirty. But that could be that point difference of 35,000 yeah. points just made up in those 15 lines. It's going to come down to who can get out of this dig sooner <laughs> and who can start Tetrising uh, ASAP. And just it looks like, oh. Okay, it takes the yeah. Jeffrey was almost ready to make, like, kind of a dirty Tetris there, but thought wiser of it, knows that... Uh, that he can he, he can get clean here and start really building a lead. And boom, Tetris for Jeffrey. And oh. the transition. Yep, so faster speeds. Um, he's low enough now that he can kind of adjust to the speed now. He was not in the middle of kind of a, a dig or anything. Oh no, I'm sign wave in trouble. Out. So and that game, game two goes to, goes to Jeffrey. So we're about to see our first game three of this top eight. Back and forth, these games, my word. Just like that, it happened very abruptly, but Jeffrey took that one with some nice, solid play. And if both competitors are ready, we're ready for this game three. So let's go three, three two, two, one, one Tetris. Tetris. Game three. Almost very started intense. that one a little too early. But uh, both both players got on the got on the same page there. Best of three is always so exciting when it comes to game three because suddenly this one game makes all the oh, difference. Oh, we have a T-spin lined up and knocked down. Great move by Jeffrey. So Jeffrey once again Tetris ready. Sine wave just clearing out as well. He's got one. But Jeffrey, not just Tetris ready, but a beautiful board that was able to handle some, some jagged pieces there. Sine wave doing the classic head shake. Yeah, so that that was a little bit of a misdrop, and then a couple S's and Z's behind it that really just, exacerbated yeah, the problem. Amplified what was kind of an unsteady build. It's now got a situation over there. If he gets the right pieces, he can knock down a dirty Tetris. He's trying to just get his stack somewhere more familiar, more yep. comfortable. And I honestly, at the beginning of a game, it's very aggressive to try to dig down with a dirty Tetris up high. It's risky, and you don't need to. If it's this early in the game, there's plenty of time left to be making up the points later. Absolutely. Um, kind of a dangerous build for Jeffrey, just a little bit. He's got that lip, uh, but the, the Tetris is going to make that a non-factor, and he is looking really good with about a three Tetris lead. Uh, sine wave, having, having trouble keeping it clean. Um, sometimes it can get a little frustrating, not getting the right pieces. He, he is going to tuck this L. the right piece for that fix. Sometimes if you feel like uh, now down 76,000 points, sometimes you'll start uh, making some dirty Tetrises playing a lot more aggressively when you feel like you're down um, down early. Jeffrey just playing so clean, building on yeah. his left. He's cruising, so he's, he, he's, he's in the groove right now, and it's a nice place to be. You start getting closer to that flow state uh, that makes Tetris so addictive. Uh, it's very difficult to achieve that in a tournament setting because you got so many things to worry about and think about. But if you can turn your brain off and just uh, play Tetris, just yeah. play Tetris it's, it's a it's a magical experience. And now he has 126,000 point lead. It still is pretty early in this game. Though. It is. We're still about 40 lines away from the initial transition and about. 75 lines from level 19 and we still haven't seen a transition yet so this could be this could be the first game sine wave oh it gets the line yeah just only a three little bit high, so that's a triple for him jeffrey uh Playing a little bit high and aggressive. And getting droughted. Yeah, this is not when you want to get droughted. He so needs... he wants to burn it down, but then he's getting the wrong pieces. He needs that L, though. That's if he... And then... Oh, he's, he's getting pieces over. 
Oh, but that left side's gonna be locked out. So he's topped out. So he... Sine Wave needs to chase down 233,000 points. So you need 119,000 points, Sine Wave, to, to close the gap here. Uh, that's gonna be about six Tetrises, seven Tetrises on 15. Uh, so that started to dig into that lead. Jeffrey's lead was very prolific. So this is not over by a long shot. Sine Wave has his work cut out for him, but he has he has chosen to become clean and uh, in the zone at just the right time. And the Tetrises are falling quick and fast Timely here. Timely long bar, because that, yep. uh, that could have festered on the left hand yes, side there. Yes, absolutely. So some, some good RNG and uh, some good clean play is really working out for Sine Wave here. As a uh, competitor, Jonas has often said that your opponent popping out is one of the most distracting things that can yes. happen when you're playing. And it continues, because now your brain is doing all these calculations that it's never had to do before. And so it just goes, well, how aggressive should I play? How many lines do I have left? What's my deficit? Speaking of deficits, uh, sine, or sine Wave has closed it to 36,000 points. So it needs a couple Tetrises here. Uh, he's building above the ground. So a little bit aggressive, but man, if he gets if he gets a line here, that's one. It's down to 17,000. So he's gonna need a Tetris and a little bit more. Uh, but he's got he's got room to work with. He's about to transition to 16 though, a and, a, in a, row there that just and a 16 have a, good spot. a 16 transition when you're a little high. That that's a drastic jump in speed. So that could be a little unnerving here. Saw him do some 18 starts. He can definitely handle the speed. It's yes. just like Jonas said, it's that transition. Oh. And just the timing on that seat is just a little different. Oh my goodness. And oh, edge of my seat. That's just how it goes. So the match goes to Jeff. Very... We told you that was gonna be the match to watch. Wow, so close. As a person who's been there before too, where Jeffrey was watching somebody run down your score oh. is a very uncomfortable situation because it's <laughs> out of your hands. It's completely out of your hands. So great games, guys, uh, and congratulations to Jeffrey for moving on. Looks All like right. we're getting set up on the next match. We have Jakob and Giant. So Giant is last year's winner. Of course, last year they played on PAL. This year they're playing on NTSC because the World Championship is played on NTSC, and the winner from here gets flown to Portland, Oregon for the championship. Can we get a pronoun? Pronounce uh, pronunciation confirmation on Jakob. Yeah, Jakob. Okay. The Yaka talk. What? Jakob. Is coming on, coming on hot, <laughs> and we got Giant as well. Last year's uh, defending champion. Can't wait to see these matches. Uh, if you guys are ready, on level 15, three, two, two one, one, Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> Both players wearing Tetris gear. Gotta love that. Yep. Well, Giants is more of like a Puyo gear, but there's a Puyo Tetris. I, Puyo I feel Puyo you. Tetris. I can tell that he likes the Puyos, though. I just, I can feel it in my heart. So I don't think we really saw Jakob on the was, main station. Jakob was not on the main station. So he was doing most of his damage both players incognito. Both locking down Tetrises. Such a but nice yeah, sound. Based, oh, I oh, love nice that adjustment. adjustment. Love the adjustment by Jakob. That's, Saw the next piece that's coming. high he IQ Tetris. Current piece to make a place for it. Yep. It's really nice. Both of these uh, players pressing down, but taking moments uh, out of pressing down to uh, Im improve the placement of their pieces. So it's great to see Jakob with an unfortunate uh, line dependency in the middle. And uh, Giant with a drought. A he finally gets it. Giant drought for Giant. But he couldn't quite get the square over to the left, so now he needs the right L to kind of fill it in. He gets that one. Jakob with the first kind of nerves check. A little, a little dirty touches for Giant. He's going to need to get that over. Jakob in an absolute hardship. Did not <gasps> oh get no. that to flip, and that's going to be an early top out for Jakob. So that's game one. Always tough to see. For giant. You definitely always, as, as a commentator and a spectator, you always want to see these games go deep, and it's so tough to see an early top out, but that's just how it is on Classic Tetris. So game one to Giant, and if the... But I think they're ready. If the players are ready, we're going to go straight to game two with three, three two, two, one, Tetris. Tetris. Very ominous music in the background. 
probably Tetris appropriate. You can see in, uh, in Giant's builds how he is used to PAL. He has very aggressive builds that go pretty high, yep. which is what you need to do when you're playing PAL, the PAL version of when this game. When you have game. very limited piece set, it's, uh, it's a huge advantage to being aggressive. And on the slower speed of 15, you can stand to be a little aggressive. It, it, it can really work out for you, uh, especially with a one-heart lead. There's a difference between playing behind and playing ahead. Uh, a one game in a best of three. Is a huge psychological advantage, for yes. sure. Yes, there's a wind at his back, but that being said, Jakob has a 30,000 point lead and is playing excellent Tetris. Uh, he's double dependent on L's, and that that is starting to kind of spiral a little bit. He just needed that line and just did not get, did not get a line. Playing death defying Tetris here. But he's playing flat and he's. Giant using this time to knock down a Tetris and yep. take the lead. Yeah, he has, he has wrestled the lead back from a, uh, from a surviving Jakob. And another Tetris for Giant extends the lead to 24,000 points now. 24,000. And still building leads, really clean. Leads are uh, the last of Jakob's worries now. He just wants to get this. Get this burned out. Oh, can he get anything to the right? He's not going to test it yet. He wants full dash. Got him. I think it's one over there. Huge play. Not out of the woods yet. Oh, no. oh. just tapping right. a little too slow, and that's an early top out. Giant will take the match. Giant moves on. Jakob. A rather quick set right there. Away. 